where humans be there, things wherever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to the channel, and today I want to talk to you about the T-34 and 1. Now, this is a tank that I have lauded on numerous occasions, um, and I even did a video on it once. But I haven't really talked about it for a while, and that's a shock and a shame, because I think this could be like just about the best tier 7 medium money can buy uh in terms of tech tree stuff it's an incredibly powerful little vehicle and it's a, it's a tank that doesn't really look it but i uh i took it out for a spin today and i was reminded of exactly why i like it so much and then i had a look in the emails and to see if anyone had played it a lot better than i had and lo and behold there were multiple candidates <laughs> Which is obviously a huge surprise to you because you all know how truly gifted I am as a self-promotional lunatic. And uh, I'm going to show you a video on the end of it, which is the T-34 and 1 played like a monster. But suffice to say, it's it's got... It, I think this is like the best medium in the Chinese line, right? I, the Chinese medium line. I love this tank. And the reason I love it is it's got an incredibly strong turret for its tier it's got a very low profile good camo it's got a very steep upper glacis so you can put it in some really cool situations and it can actually bounce a whole hell of a lot of stuff and more than that uh it's also got a big alpha for tier 7 it's 280 alpha is the same kind of alpha you get it on the t44 the 54 mod 1 the t54 lightweight the type 59 y you feel me it's the same kind of alpha you get on all those russian style guns and yet it gets it at tier 7 as a medium tank and it gets in a turret on a turret that you can actually make it make it work for you now it doesn't have oodles of gun depression if it did well it would be completely broken there's no way around that it has six degrees of gun depression which is still more than enough to get the job done on a cracking little number like this and i'm going to show you just a couple of examples of how you can play it on ridges even when you don't have perfect gun depression you're going to see here i've got to go over the ridge to get the shot and then I just keep accelerating through and then rely on the wiggle and the jiggle, the strong upper glacis when extreme, uh, at extreme angles, and my very, very strong turret to get a little bounce. The thing it doesn't have is crazy mobility. It's good mobility-wise, but it doesn't have the kind of nutso engine that you get on things like the LTTB. It doesn't have that huge push and pump that you can get on those kind of weapons, or those kind of tanks. That's fair enough because it's got enough that it can do the job. It's got the same kind of feel of mobility that you get on, say, a T-44. And that's that's good mobility, but not great mobility. Not, not the best kind of thing, but good. And that's pretty important, I think, anyway. In terms of movement, your top speed is 50. Um, your horsepower to weight ratio is probably, actually, it's probably less than the T-44. Let me go look that up. Yeah, you are, you are legitimately, you can notice it. So the effective horsepower per tonne for the T-44 is about 22.13. You're at 17.75. So 25% difference. And you can notice it. But what you can do so much better than the T-44 for your tier is this. Look at me on top of the hill here at Normandy. There's the Firefly. That is not where you want to be running the Firefly, amigo. The uh, Wi-Fi Firefly, the Defender Firefly. The, the real key for me with this tank is you've got to get the angles right. You've got to get it looking over the, the drive wheel kind of thing, where you can use that very, very low profile to sneak shots, and it will bounce. It will bounce shots. Like, there's no way around this. And then, although it doesn't have crazy good mobility, it's very, very small, very, very lightweight, and very, very, uh, very, very low in terms of profile. And that means it's not hard to pull it back out of the range of the bad guys. In fact... Here's a, a gun depression issue. Watch this. The gun just can't get down far enough. It's very finely balanced. Any uh, any further along the gun depression tree or mobility tree, it would be outright broken. But as it is, it's a really good example of wargaming balancing a tank around a specific play style. And if you recognize that, you can turn it into a real barnstormer. And more than that, a, a tank that's a lot of fun to play. Now, the dispersion is not good, right? I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. The 100mm 44-100 uh, JT gun, 0.38 dispersion, which is not very good at all. But your aim time is solid, okay? Um, and at the tier you're at, 
with the kind of pen you got, when you're up against sevens and sixes, there are an awfully large amount of tanks that you don't really have to worry too much about in terms of penetration. Tanks like this, the T23E3, you, you, if you can get Comets on the flat, or big-ass SU-100Ys, VK-2801s, uh, KV-2s, everything like that, you will be able to get through pretty comfortably. And you'll see, I'm like, yeah, I did everything I could to not engage that Helsing directly and let everyone else struggle along with the Helsing. So you've seen me playing the tank to great effect. And I'm now going to show you a, uh, a game that I was sent in uh, from, that was sent in by Girly770. Um, and it's better than the games I had. So I thought, after looking at it, I was like, you know what, I got to, I got to use the game. Like, it's just embarrassing to put my crap up there. Um, I had a couple of 25, 28s. How about you just go with what's already available and use the one that's a really, really good game on Himmelsdorf, high pointing so many of the good things about the tank. Now, something that I haven't talked about enough yet. Do you see how close the turret is to the front drive wheel? Now, it's not fantastic if you're talking about effective armor because that means that your armor has to be very steep and closer to flat than than you would on, say, a T-44 or 50 more Mod 1, which is where you get those big armor numbers because the, uh, the, the steeper the angle, the, the higher the effective armor of any piece of armor. But because it's so close to the front drive wheel, you can get out very, very quickly and back without exposing a drive wheel for too long. And that's important. Um, and it's you can see the T-43 there has a very, very similar armor profile. Look how steep the 43's armor profile is. But the 43 is much taller. The 34 and 1 can hide behind, you know, a bad intention, let alone a, uh, a little log or a, a low wall. And Gurley is absolutely shredding here at the back and doing so in fine form. Now, the 43 is not to be mucked around with. That is a legitimately good tank. One that a lot of people sleep on. I should probably do a video on that as well, because if I had to pick another medium that was as good as this, apart from my beloved Comet, obviously, um, you'll never get me to say that this is better than the Comet, uh, then it would probably be the T-43. That's a tank that just a lot of people do not have enough time for. Uh, and it's a tank that stood the test of time. It, it was very, very good back in the day, and it remains so, even now after all this time. 2730 damage playing a very very good game on the medium route leveraging the hit point pool of the rest of the grubs who went down here into a big number now though the piper is asked to be paid and things are looking suspiciously rough that was a clutch bounce there getting around the arl and this is where that big alpha comes in yeah that's right 326 hit points good comeback no joke buddy this is a great comeback Girly 770 is doing all the business. Track them and dack them. That's what I always say. Together, not necessary. Girly has it covered. 280 Alpha will clear that every day of the week. Seven kill Rass. 4K damage on the Dorf. Feel the love, amigos. Wonderful game there from Girly 770 of the USIB clan. Really good job. Thanks so much for sending that one in. I hope you all enjoyed that. Hope you're looking forward to uh, hearing from Tankfest. Love your work. Thanks for supporting the channel. If you want to become a Patreon, it's patreon.com forward slash bushgrownblitz. If you just want to share the videos, like them and subscribe, thumbs up to you. And until next time, stay safe on Z Battlefield. Bye for now.